Holy Moses! Huh? Oh, Jesus, man. You guys are killing it. Hey, guys. Oh. Welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Mick here. Hello. And... Hey, guys. I'm Mike from T-Rex. Yeah! <laughs> Michael Pagard, people. From, from T-Rex all the way from... Thailand, Denmark. 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 Yeah. Just crossed the ocean. Just arrived today. Y yesterday, actually. Yeah. Had a few pints yesterday and some Indian curry, and I'm feeling reborn today. Oh, very good. Yeah. You may remember um, from Nam a couple of years ago, uh, T Rex brought out the Replicator Mark One, and we were there uh, at Nam, and Michael. Step us through it, and you were very excited. I was so excited. I was so excited. Uh, the idea, I'd when did we first see it? It's like the year before, and you had one in a case. Yeah. At Nam, just had the motor running, and I walked past it. Mm -hmm. I could hear it calling to me. It did. And it was amazing. So the idea is an actual tape delay in a pedal, and the large unit has got modulation and. Stuff and this is this uh, this is the stripped back tape echo replicator junior. Yeah, yeah. That I'm, I mean I'm, I've crossed over. I'm beyond excited to now just trying to just chillax <laughs> and not look like a complete raving lunatic. You know this is the very first prototype, number one, and it's in production now and it's wow. running. It's stable. You know, the classic has been out for two years now, right. and, and we have learned a lot from that. Mm -hmm. You have to break some eggs to make an omelette, and mm -hmm. we really did. But you made a delicious omelette. We did too, we did too. But we wanted to strip it down, mm. make it more simple. Mm -hmm. um, this one has one playback head. Right. Um, oh yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the classic has two, so you have two tempos. Mm -hmm. but we stripped it down and we wanted it to fit on a pedal board as well. That was very important for us that it actually fit on the board. And then it's it's running on 12 volts as well. So, nice. Yeah. So, yeah, so 300 milliamps, 12 volts, very reasonable voltage, current draw for such an amazing... I mean, just look at that thing. Mm -hmm. It's spectacular. It is, it is. And, and, and not only did we strip down the size of it, but we kind of, of, of went through the, the signal path and, mm. and cleaned that up too. Mm. So I think you can hear this This is breathing better. It's somehow a little more clean delay than the classic, which is great too. I love that kind of brownish yeah, sound yeah, yeah, yeah. the classic has. But I can I can hear that you lifted some weight off its shoulder that it's breathing better. Somehow. Okay, well yeah. let's, let's um, I mean, let's dive straight in. Amps we're using today, we've got the uh, the Marshall 1987 X. It's a 50 watt plexi reissue with effects loop, although we're not using the effects loop. Oh, and it's uh, it's actually running through Palmer Power Pad, which is an attenuator. It's stepped down one level to 70% power, mm. just to give the Marshall a little bit more. Slang. Yeah, it's very aggressive. If you turn up the high treble channel, it's very aggressive. It's killing you. For our little rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And also the Victory V40. Uh, so together. You're a groovy cat, man. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, man. <laughs> right, okay, so here we go. Here we go, so. Replicator Junior.
Yeah, man. Can you feel that? It's alive. It's breathing. It's 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 I'm, music, man. Yeah, I'm emotional. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Uh, oh, wow. See, there's something about tape, and we've always said whenever we turn on the tape machine, even um, you know we've had some old tape machines that, mm -hmm. that needed some help, as in. Uh, you know, and they were noisy and and things were moving around. But every time we've turned on a real tape machine, just something happens. Yeah. I so, get. I I go. I'm gone. So there's no. So just to be clear, there's no digital signal path in there. It's just all analog signal. Path all path. analog. Yeah. The only thing that is digital is the communication with the step motor, yeah, the yeah. tap tempo thing. Right. But beside that, everything is analog, a hundred percent. You're just not losing anything, are you? And you're well, just can I point this out, right? Yeah. So you, you're here. When I kick the replicator in, so this is uh, we're using the Alberta. Alberta. Yeah. For the uh, just a slight break up on the. That's righteous. <laughs> Now I'm gonna kick the tape on. Just, ah, oh man, that's just wonderful. You know, we it's so normal for to, for us to play a, 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 like a digital delay, mm. which is good too. Mm. I have plenty of them, I love them. Mm. But once you hear this analog and it's tape, it's it just a totally another it's a, it's feeling. A whole, it's, it's a different it, experience. It's a it? place of its own, isn't it? Because yeah. um, if you're used to a digital delay and you love that really clean sound of the repeats and you mm -hmm. know no noise from the audio and all the rest of it, that's going to, in, in some ways, it's going to fill you with horror because it's not that super clean crystal. But if you want that tape thing that only tape can do, only tape can do it, right? Mm -hmm. Only tape can do it. We did it. it. We, um, Dan and I did a video, ooh, it must be, must be a year and a half ago at least, I would have thought, maybe even two years ago, uh, where we compared an EP3, original EP3, yeah. with modern, modern simulations thereof. And, and the EP3 was noisy mm -hmm. and... You know, to change anything, you had to take the lid off and move the head around. And it was massive and mains power. Ah! But the sound. And, oh my word, it's just a whole different thing. Yeah, yeah. it is. I mean, you got to maintain it. You have to clean it sometimes. Yeah. You, you replace the tape or whatever. But once you learn those tricks, it becomes your best friend, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... Um, I just I've just done what I've been asking Dan not to do for the whole video and move the pedal board underneath. Oh, oh good. I know. Oh, it's good. There we go. I think it works alright. <laughs>
I get emotional, no, man. I, I, I get I, emotional. I, I want to hear you play, man. It's You're a groovy cat, <laughs> Mick. For Christ's sake. <laughs> Sounds so good. Yeah, man. That's, yeah. I, when the... We, we, so, Dan and I shot a video this morning. And, it, and when it takes you, it takes you. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Alberta there. Well, the drives come from the Alberta. Yeah, that's mad. I don't. Yeah. Remember, I don't remember it having that much kind of drive. I always thought it was cleaner it, than that. You know, we started making pedals 21 years ago. No so way. We are, we are old company actually, and the very first pedals we did was the Alberta, the Mud Honey, the Trimster, and we just wanted to to do it again. Right. Everything was made and assembled in. Denmark at T-Rex headquarters mm -hmm. and when things started taking off we moved the production and it still sounds good but something said in the back of my head that my old mud honey sounds better wow. my old Alberta sounds better and so last it's not just us <laughs> <laughs> say nothing <laughs> and last told me to to go and yourself no he didn't say that he said you you you're nuts man forget about it. it sounds the same it's totally the same diagram everything is the same so I brought my old mud honey and I said okay today we're gonna a B test mm -hmm. listen to it and he said yeah you're right something sounds different mm. the original version was a little more dark sounding mm. not as treplish and 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 then a week later last said we're gonna do it we're going to move the production back to Denmark okay. and make wow. it from the original with the original components, everything custom made in Denmark at T-Rex headquarters. I didn't know that. I didn't know that had happened. So that's what we're going to do. And that's for these three? It is. Right. For the Alberta, the Mud Honey and the Tremster to okay. start with. Okay. You know, we started up a custom shop production at T-Rex headquarters in Denmark, making the replicator mm -hmm. and the Soulmate acoustic. Mm making the Martoni, Alberta and Tremster as well. And it just feels right, it feels better. We can go from just an ID to the physical product in, in a short amount of time. Uh, the production is just next door to the research development. And, and what I think is one of the very cool, the best thing about it is the whole test procedure. Right. Sure. Because we test every single product by hand, measure everything especially the replicator mm. measure everything down nail it down to an okay now it's going it's stable and it's running and then we put a danish flag on a sticker <laughs> telling that all is good go ahead have fun don't worry about anything and um, the production went from from china mm -hmm. it's good too and and they have they're testing everything too mm -hmm. it just feels better that that you actually just go feels, through the whole. If it feels right, it do feels, it. it. Do it, man. And, 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 and I guess that's reflected in price as well, right, Michael? So it's of course it's gonna be more expensive yeah. when it's custom made and it's selected components yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that, yeah. all that stuff that it's they're, they're gonna be two forty nine euro yeah. map, mm -hmm. but it's a custom made pedal. Yeah, yeah. and and it sounds amazing. The 
so the Alberta, um, I mean, we, we, as we heard before, it's kind of there's a wide range of games to it. It's still it's still a softer attack thing, um, you know, for those those mid range uh, tones. When we turned the mud honey on before, mm -hmm. and that just knocked my socks off. So Mick, have a go with the mud honey. <laughs> Yeah, oh, so good. I, I think the mud honey is special. You can't you can't say the mud honey sounds like a bus. It sounds like a tube screamer. It, it has its own sound. Beefy. Uh, they are. Two mud honeys, please, Mr. Pagod. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is totally unique. Yeah. It is. Totally Have you never heard one before? Nope. Danish Pete kept telling me about one. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, <sighs> but of course, it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. I mean, that's so many good pedals out there today and you can buy helix you can have kimber and i love it it's all good it's good but but then you get a yellow pedal and it just yeah, yeah, yeah. sounds amazing that's so harmonically rich unreal unreal i like the 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 without the boost on yeah and the gain turned up just tightens up the bottom end a little bit and swang. I like the, yeah. the boost on put, puts me in mind of the whole, you know, Billy Gibbons David. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, like, yeah. You get that. true, absolutely. But you know, you're just gonna buy two. One yeah, for yeah. a rhythm and one for solo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all is good. What can you do? Yeah. I guess um, it's probably worth pointing out that we, we've been turning the replicator on and off. It has a bit of mechanical, some, for the, from the physical, Sound of the of the motor spinning and the take. That's yeah, yeah. That's just yeah. the sound of the yeah. of the which, whirling dervish. Which you're going to hear louder because our vocal mics are 
compressed quite heavily and the, and the, the, the level is high, so it will sound louder than it is yeah. through the mic. But when those mics are muted, which they will be now, and you turn it, you turn it on, and so you're just hearing the guitar. <laughs> vocal mic and, and you can hear it again so man that is such a bloody cool sound it's amazing Th yeah there's nothing else can do that ah. there's tape we had the oh i'm sorry things are coming into my head to talk to you about oh yeah go ahead man okay we did a show on the um the Echo Wreck, mm -hmm. which blew our minds. And then, a couple of months ago, I see this picture of the T-Rex Echo Wreck. I mean, yeah. it's okay. What's going on there? It's... I'm trying not to no, shake. The guys are still working on it. Okay. It's up, it's running, and I tell you, you're going to wet yourself. <laughs> uh, I think the chances of that are fairly high. Yeah, well, to be fair. It, it is... It's something completely yeah, yeah. different. Well, that's what we found when we had the um, the old Benson on. It's, yeah. it's a whole different thing. It but is. It has that. It has that the same effect. I think it's got something to do with once you've recorded. So the echo for, for you guys, I'm not sure. It's a it's a drum, um, and there's magnetic a wire around the drum mm -hmm. that gets milled down. Magic and it's magic mirrors. and stuff. Magnets. But there's something about, the same with tape, there's something about once the signal is recorded onto the drum, then it's its own entity. It's got nothing to do anymore with the signal path or whatever. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a piece of magnetic information that True. then gets played back and dumped on top of your signal. Now, the... the and you know, so the same thing with tape, same thing with the drum. There's something about that process yeah. that adds... It's amazing. It's just amazing. It, it, I just think about Gilmore mm. when I hear the sound of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and we've been so busy with making the replicator, mm -hmm. the new uh, Danish collection Syria, the, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. We're still working on it. Mm -hmm. It's coming next year. Okay, and, and, all right. And maybe it's coming in the springtime. Please don't kill me, but we it, it, we're heading <laughs> springtime. Will you will you come back when it's ready? Because we're all I promise to. to I okay. promise That's to. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I promise you're gonna be the first one to check it. Come out. on! Come on! You deserve all that. Right. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Question number seventeen. Yeah. I've had a roommate on my board for years, and the roommate is your tube-driven reverb. Pedal. True. Yeah. And there's a sound that it has. Okay. My my favorite sound. Mode two. Mm -hmm. All right. Input level up quite high, mix about thirty percent, and the output. Just I'll turn the uh, reverb off in the amplifier. So here is my bypass tone. And then with the roommate. Is amazing. It it's amazing. Yeah. I, I, so, I keep digging it out. 
and putting it on the board. Mm -hmm. It's there's something about now. You guys don't make this anymore. No, unfortunately not. We made a, a new series with the smaller pedals. Okay. Uh, like four or five years ago, right. and we discontinued the roommate. Okay. And I'm not sure. I'm going to start did. a petition to bring it back. Please do. If you can create a demand, I mean, let's go for it's it. It's killer. It's it's great. I mean, it has. I cannot remember what all the modes are. I normally just live it on, live it on, <laughs> yeah. on, 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 on mode two. But but hang on, hang on. Let's have a listen. So there's our. I love that. Right. It's got a valve in it. Yeah, it's very cool. So. Therefore, it must be great. Therefore, it must be great. That's one. Yeah. Two. Ah. Yeah, the hell, yeah, 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 very and good. And now the fourth, you add some chorus. I love that. It's in F sharp, I think, isn't it? Which was E. It's easier to play an E, but I think he plays it capoed too. It does? Oh, runty, does he? Runty, runty, runty. It just, when you turn that on, it reminded me, Simon and I went to see Brian Adams last night. In, oh, uh, yeah. In um, uh, Bournemouth. Simon and Mick are very close, you see. And I... No, no, no. He was supposed to take his wife supposed to take Lucy, <laughs> Lucy couldn't make it, so I was his gig wife for the night. Yeah. But that chorus on that reverb... That's true then. I'm just, I'm just going to do an impression of Ryan Adams last night, I'm going to turn the reverb up on the amp as well. This is what Ryan Adams sounded like <laughs> last night. Yeah. That's what Ryan Adams sounded. I didn't know it did that chorus mode. That's my favorite mode. So That's we're going to start. Cool. So here is, uh, we're putting Michael in a very awkward position here, but we're, this is the beginning of the petition to bring back the roommate. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll it's talk not... to Lars and Sepp about it and let's see what happens. I, I still it, miss it. I miss it too. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's amazing. Mm? It's an amazing sound. Absolutely. Um, so. I have a question. All right. Uh, Michael. We asked... Uh, the tour from TC Electronic, the same question, yeah. which is, what is it about Denmark? Why? So there's you, there's TC, there's mm. um, Karl Martin. Karl Martin as well, yeah. And then there's some little boutique, some smaller independent guys setting up. What? Luna Stone as well? Yeah, Luna Stone. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Exactly. Good that's, stuff too. Right. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. How many people in Denmark? Five million. Five, five, point, five have, million. Five million guitar players. Have a pretty large impact on the guitar effects market. So yeah. Why, why do you think that might be? I think we have a tradition for making, you know, Bang & Olufsen has mm. made yeah. custom, uh, custom gear for a long period. And, and I think we're just tasty people. We want it to, <laughs> to sound good. <laughs> and sexy too. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And we're all good friends and... TC Electronics are our friends, Luna Stone and, and Carl Martin, and of course we want to make money on this and live from it, From but we're good friends, we hang out and we even share ideas and stuff That's like that, so, so it's, it's a good... We had this conversation a few times, we were in, at NAMM and went to the, um, the effects builders party, Yeah, and it was wonderful, everyone is friends and everyone gets on and, mm -hmm. and talks and then... Um, the the guy from Boss, what's the the head guy from Boss? He came. Yoshi. Yoshi came down, 
and uh, he was there hanging out with everyone, and it was. I had no idea because I think because what I did was actually, one fight. The, not not no, 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 no glasses, no knives. Nothing. It's a great community to be involved with. How did you get into it? How did you get into this world? I was, I think I was. I came to T Rex when I was uh, in a, my teenage, uh, nineteen years old, wow. testing the pedals, trying the pedals, and I bought the the Mud Honey and the Alberta. I still remember the smell of it, because at that time, Lars and Sebastian were, they were, heavy smokers, so uh -huh. they smoking cigarettes, and and doing the pedals. So wow. when you open up the box, it smelled like stale nicotine. <laughs> yeah, <Awesome. laughs> big time. Awesome. But I had a geek bag that I wasn't allowed to bring in the house for because in, in days before <laughs> yeah, the smoking ban, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't, it was a because the geek bag just absorbs everything. Yeah, and uh, our whole bring, PA smell, smells good. Man, really. but the very first product. Uh, T-Rex made was, um, you remember the Mac and the Bigfoot, like a loop, looping system? That was the first thing I bought from T-Rex. Wow. And then I bought the pedals, and I said to Lars and Sebastian, if, if you need a guy come here to work someday, please give me a call. And I was a teacher at that time, so. Oh, okay. I was teaching handicapped uh, children. Wow. Uh, with musical teaching. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, and then one day to tell the, the phone rang. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, learning how to spell and read and write. With music, so oh, that was interesting amazing. too. It was great time, but then Lars called me and said, "We got a job for you. It's time to rock." Yeah, it is, and that's ten years ago now, and I freaking love my job. Oh, it's no. my life, man. That's it's so cool. I dream about. I don't even dream about women anymore. <laughs> I dream about tape delay, chorus, <laughs> move four on my. So it's not and... just me. No, I'm no, right. no, man. No, no, no. It's so it's normal. Because whenever, <laughs> when, like, um, when we saw you in Denmark at the Copenhagen Guitar Show, yeah, yeah, we see yeah. you at, at Are you guys Tony. coming this year? We we won't be there this year. Maybe the following year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're in, we've got, we're going to the states for for a while, aren't yeah, we? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. whenever we go to a guitar show, you you are one of a handful of people. I always. Genuinely look forward to seeing man. It's so Likewise, great to see you. Likewise, my man. Likewise. Thank you so much for coming on. Hang on, we have not finished. You, what have we not done? Oh my god! Set. Sorry. Yeah, the tremor. Right, the tremor. Yeah. Okay. We have not finished because we've always said, have we not, Daniel? That if were it uh, a desert island situation, an overdrive, a delay, and a tremolo. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've said, we've said many things about the desert island. To be fair, but that's one. You know, it's going to be an amazing one, island. One potential desert island scenario. <laughs> Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So um, now again, the Tramster. This is one of the pedals that's being handmade at the moment True. by you guys. So yeah. Okay. So um, Mick, if you want to have Schwang. Cool. Uh, I should play my Stratocaster, I think. By the way, that telly is a telly that I had in the cupboard for a long time that I never thought sounded very good, but it seems to sound it pretty. Sounds so good. It sounds okay. It doesn't sound Absolutely. as good as it but it does sound good. Well, you know. Well, there. It's on the yeah. fingers, man. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so...
Happened to you, man? Huh? It You're just, shredding your ass off today. That my head was probably in the way of Dan playing the guitar all the way through that. So uh, sorry about That's that. But. Okay. So no, so oh, dude, dude. Oh, but the thing oh, is, man, I, I prove it on this show time and time again. The sound isn't happening for me. I, I just, I can't. I just can't play. Mm. But when something like that happens, mm -hmm. it moves you. And yeah. You, and. and you are led to do a certain thing. Yeah, so true. Oh, you know, when, boy, oh boy, oh when boy. you get a pedal that actually inspires you to play music, then it's working. Oh, no, it's, absolutely. It's the name of the game, isn't it? It's it is. So hey, cool. we forgot one thing before we finish up. Yes. The Gamladansk. What's it's that? like God, a Danish ritual. <laughs> a Danish ritual? It's, okay. It's so good for you. Danish Peter's told me about this. Oh, yeah. It's so good for your mind, your body, your... You're gonna wake up with a hard on the next four <laughs> days in a row. Hang on a second, please. I'm sorry about that. I think what we need is some interim music, don't we? <laughs> Here it is, man. The Holy Grail. Gamaldansk. I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Smells like cough medicine. Michael. Cheers. It's been Thank an absolute so pleasure. Thank, Thank you, so, you much. so much for having me. Uh, we appreciate so much what you guys are doing. Oh. I mean, you're, you're educating people and you're the nicest fellows <laughs> on the earth. And what else can you ask for? On the whole of the earth. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cheers, Cheers man. guys. Thank you, man. Cheers. Thanks Here we for coming to see us. Cheers. Awesome. Cheers. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> hey! Holy hey! Hey! Moses. Ah! Yeah. It's good, huh? <laughs> it just keeps burning. guys <laughs> <laughs> okay guys thank you all so much for watching it's been it's been amazing absolutely um, quick uh, some quick thank yous thank you to all of our patrons on patreon thank you guys so much hammer legends all of you um 
massive thank you to our preferred retailers in the UK and Europe it is. Anderson's Music. In America. Rift City Music. See you soon, or we've just seen you in your awesome thank you. We're on our way there. And in Australia. Pedal Empire. Hey Matt, how you doing? Um, also guys, if you want to head over to thatpedalshowstore.com and you can grab yourself a garment or some, uh, we could do some That Pedal Show store branded, what's this called? Gamaldansk. Gamaldansk. It's That Pedal Show Gamaldansk. Gamaldansk. Yeah. That stuff is potent. It is, it is. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming on. It's been Thank you for having honest. me, man. Thank you so much. My pleasure. We love you guys. Uh, bless you. We love you too. Thank you. All right. Cheers, guys. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.